Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, potential prospective Golden Hawks. Thanks for tuning into our webinar today. Uh, my name is Mitchell Higgins. I work as the coordinator of off-campus first year initiatives here at Wilfrid Laurier University. Um, and my role is to coordinate the LOCUS program. So if you're tuning into the webinar, you are probably an off-campus student wondering about how you can get connected to the university as your first year student who lives off campus. And maybe you have some questions about the LOCUS program and what that entails. So that's what I'm gonna be walking you through today. Um, I have two lovely co-hosts with me, Mackenzie and Tyler, who are two of my student staff members. Um, they're amazing. We'll be chatting about their experience in the program and how they've been supporting students um, for the past few years in the LOCUS program. So sit back, relax, enjoy, um, and let me walk you through what LOCUS is and what we do for first year off-campus students. So the first question you might have is what is LOCUS? So essentially LOCUS stands for Laurier Off-Campus University Students. Um, and it's a program run by Laurier for off-campus students who are experiencing their first year at Laurier. And that means you can either be coming direct from grade 12 into your first year at post-secondary, um, or you could be transferring from another post-secondary institution uh, or a mature student who is someone who is over the age of 21 starting their first year at post-secondary. LOCUS, in essence, strives to give off-campus first-year students the same supports, the same transitional services and programming that students would get from living on campus in a residence in their first year. Um, and we offer first-year off-campus students three pillars of support within the LOCUS program, those being academic, social, and personal support. And as we dive into the slideshow a little bit further, you'll see ways um, in which the program and the Locust Dons help provide those three pillars of support to students. So what we do, so when you're an off-campus student starting your first year at Laurier um, and you're registered with the Locust program, you're placed into a Locust community with other off-campus students who are also in their first year at Laurier. And these locus communities are separated by academic faculty. And that's really great because from your first day on campus, you have already met a bunch of students who are not only sharing your faculty with you, but are sharing classes, professors, et cetera. So you're making those connections right from day one, which is a tremendous help to your academic first year at Laurier. Um, the faculty-based communities also provide a better environment for more academic programming, which I'll touch on in a little bit. And the programming side of things are where the Locust Dons come in and provide a bunch of opportunities for you to get involved and meet campus partners and other students on campus as well. So your Locust Don, there are two uh, wonderful Locust student staff members here. And essentially what the Locust Don role does is they're an upper year student who's a mentor and a guide to help you navigate your first year at Laurier and meet your own definition of success. Um, they're essentially a Laurier expert, quote unquote. And what they do throughout the year is host programming for all of you. So um, the Dons are mandated to host at least two events, one academic based and one social based. Um, and we'll dive into what that looks like on the next slide. But there's a number of ways that the Locust Dons will be able to interact with you and communicate with you throughout the year. Um, since you may be wondering, we're not all on one residence floor and what does interaction look like? Um, the Locust Dons are able to communicate with their students through a number of different methods, including email, text messaging, um, and social media channels and group chats and things of that nature. Um, the Locust Dons, as someone who's worked with them for the past few years now are incredible and uh, they start their training for the role in the summer before the appropriate academic year um, and they're just some of the best groups of student staff members i've had the pleasure of working with um, they're super passionate about making the first year experience the best it can be for you um, and they're here to support you in any way that they can throughout your first year at laureate so programming, what does this programming look like that the Locust Dons will host for you throughout the year? So it's focused and it's relevant um, for you in your first year at Laurier. So um, the Dons will host one social programming, which helps you not only connect with other off-campus students and students within your Locust community, but also students who are living on campus and they'll help you connect with campus resources as well. Also, they'll be hosting one academic event for you. And this is awesome. And this is where the faculty-based communities really shine because it's a tailored experience for you. And it helps you kind of bridge that gap from learning inside of the classroom and getting a complimentary experience outside of the classroom as well. So um, I've listed some examples for what each set of programming looks like. So 
for this past year or this current year, sorry, we've been hosting a bunch of different social programming events for Locust and Laurier students to connect with one another. Some of them are Jackbox nights, uh, games nights where we've hosted UNO tournaments and Euchre tournaments and things of that nature. Netflix parties, trivia and bingo nights. We currently have a fantasy football draft and a bachelor draft happening, which are pretty awesome. Um, and master chef competitions. So kind of helping you build on some of those life skills um, at home, which is pretty awesome. Some examples of academic programming that we've started rolling out this year. Um, we do study skills sessions, either led by students or led by um, professionals working at the university. Uh, we do resume and cover letter workshops in partnership with the Career Center, and those are often a big hit for students. Um, and it becomes very helpful when it comes time to start searching for summer jobs and starting those applications. Um, another example is a midterm and final exam prep that we collaborate with, with Laurier 101 and the Academic Mentorship Program, which is awesome. So um, engaging with different campus partners, getting you all connected to the appropriate academic resources so that your academic experience is kind of complemented outside of the classroom as well. So those are a bunch of things that you could look forward to in terms of programming and ways that your Locust On can support you um, in terms of events that they're going to host throughout the year. Speaking of the Locust Dons, this is where my two co-hosts kind of get to shine. So we have Tyler, uh, who's a fourth year history student on the Brantford campus and Mackenzie, who's a third year science student on the Waterloo campus. So um, you've heard my voice enough. I'll stop talking for a bit and I will kind of let them talk about their experience in the program, either as someone who was an off-campus student in their first year um, or someone who's worked in the program for a few years and supporting students and providing that support. Um, so I will call on Tyler first. I'll let you introduce yourself, um, talk about your experience in the role for at least past few years, um, and you can kick it off whenever you're ready. All right. So I'm Tyler, um, and I've been a part of Locust since my first year, and I'm going in my last year right now. And I kind of like to tell people is that I joined in first year, and then I just kind of never left. Uh, I was... Uh, really enjoyed Locust first year and I became kind of integrated within the Locust community and then uh, eventually became a Locust Don. In my fourth year, I'm now the marketing executive for Locust Brantford. Ooh, fancy title, I know. Uh, <laughs> um, kind of when I think of Locust, if I was going to give somebody like two words to describe Locust, something pithy and quick like that, I would say uh, connections and community. Mitch threw the word connections around a lot earlier, and I really like that because set up for what I have on my notes here. Uh, but <laughs> it just helps you feel connected and kind of grounded within the Laurier community. Whereas if you were just kind of off campus without Locus trying to get involved, it's a little bit harder. Locus kind of provides you with a foot in the door to be part of the Laurier. Uh, well, community, second word I would use to describe Locus, community. And that's pretty self-explanatory. It gives you a community. And all through my years of being in Locus, whether as a student in first year or as a Don in later years, it is a tight-knit community. It provides you with a sort of instant Locus family, a Laurier family. And there's automatically people that you're going to I don't want to say automatically you're going to get along with them, but there's automatically people you share a base common ground with. And so instead of you being forced to be friends with somebody because you live in the same apartment as them and share a bathroom, you're kind of encouraged to be friends with people because you have the same locus on and you're in the same classes, community, et cetera. It is a organic experience. That's a, that is an even more far out word to describe beyond community and connections. Um, uh, I just covered a lot of stuff. If I want to throw to Mackenzie, I will. Mackenzie. All right. Thanks, Tyler. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Mackenzie and I'm on the Waterloo campus. I first got involved with Locust during my second year um, of university. So this is only my second year with Locust, but I feel like I've been with Locust for a long time in the best way possible. Um, so I, I was in residence during my first year, but even though I wasn't a part of Locus, I knew who they were and I would see them all around and I would just be like, wow, they have so much energy and so much passion, whether it's their staff or their students um, that I was running into. 
Um, and since then, um, I applied to be Locust on for my second year. And once I started that job, um, the staff I worked with, everyone was so passionate and all the students I met always, they wanted to be there and they wanted to get the experience and meet new people. Like Tyler said, it's definitely organic. And um, <laughs> they really wanted to get to know each other. So it's definitely an experience like no other. And within Locus, whether you're a student or you join as a staff member in your upper years, um, there's so many different ways to get involved. Um, and since even though I've only been a part of it for this is my second year, I was a Locust Don last year and then I got the opportunity to be a Summer Don this, during the summer, as well as the Matern Transfer Student Coordinator. Um, and I'm currently a House Council Advisor um, this year for Locus. Um, so again, just to touch back on the mature and transfer aspect, so even though it does seem like it's a, a first year program, um, if you're a transfer student and you, you know, you started somewhere else and you want to join, it's an excellent way to get involved and a lot of other mature and transfer students are within the program as well. Um, and through that program, I'll be able to easily find you and then we can create our own network as well for separate events just specific for the mature and transfer student population. Um, but yes, both Mature and Transfer and Locus, they just create such a uh, positive environment for all students, whether you're on campus or online. If you're entering an event and someone recognizes you for Locus, they just get so excited um, and they just want to know how you're doing and what's going on in your everyday life. And when we're back on campus, you'll walk by and you might not be able to make it from one end at like one building to another without seeing someone and then being waving and being all excited to see you or just flashing a quick smile. Um, and I definitely think it's a really good environment to be in and really helps you blend into the Laurier community. Nice, that's awesome. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you, Tyler. Um, a small portion of our team, but they're great. Um, they've been with our program for a long time. So thank you both so much for those words of wisdom. So um, as Tyler said, connection, one of the buzzwords of this webinar. Um, we're so proud and thankful to have wonderful working relationships with a bunch of campus partners um, that we work with each year throughout every year to provide relevant and tailored programming to all of you um, when you become Golden Hawks. And so I've listed some of our partners, um, but some of them are Wellness Education, the Career Center, Study Skills and our Learning Skills and Development Offices, the Dean of Students Office, our Athletics and Recreation Department, and the Wilfrid Laurier Students Union. And so we collaborate um, with all these different partners on a number of major projects throughout the year, um, all focusing on student engagement and connection. And so we're very fortunate. So um, whether it's a virtual year or whether it's an on-campus year, you can um, be rest assured that you'll be making a ton of great connections to campus partners, to students on campus, um, and your roots will definitely spread at Laurier. So moving on, how to join Locus. So um, in a nutshell, that is our program and that is what we strive to do for first year off campus students. Um, if you're an off campus student and you're coming to Laurier, you are eligible to join Locus. And so our registration period opens up in the summer for of 2021 for the 2021-2022 academic year. So um, if you know that you're gonna be living off campus and maybe you think that um, this is an opportunity you'd like to get involved in, you can keep an eye out um, on our social media channels, which are right here at Locust Brantford and at Locust Waterloo. And we also have a web page um, designed for us at students.wlu.ca. So feel free to check out um, all of the information there and updates as we roll along throughout this year. Um, but that's really it from us. So um, once again, a big thank you from all three of us. We appreciate it. Um, and if you have any questions, please feel free. You can visit um, our website or send us a message on either of our Instagram accounts. Um, or you can email us. Our email is locus at wlu.ca um, in all lowercase. So thank you again for tuning in. Have a great day. Have a great night, wherever you are, whatever time it is. Um, and we look forward to seeing you as a prospective Golden Hawk. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.